Unfortunately, I know where Mick and George and Jeff are in their lives. And they're not where I am. They don't have a $2 million house in Beverly Hills. They don't have a 17-acre estate in New Mexico. They don't have a chateau in France in the Dodon. They just don't have what I have. My blessing from God is I never got into Coke. And those guys snorted up. I don't know how much they snorted up. Uh, half a million, I don't know. I remember being in Vegas and Mick was at the blackjack table putting down $5,000 hands. And I'm like, you've lost your fucking mind. And my roadie come upstairs and goes, well, Mick just did four hands. Oh, he's down 20 grand. I'm like, in 10 minutes? Holy shit. <laughs> That's a lot of money. Got this house payment for the next year. But Mick was in that typical, uh, we call it, I don't ever gamble, so I don't know. You know, like, well, I feel it coming. I'm going to be on a hot streak soon. I'm going to make it all back. You know, I'm going to double down. That black jack is right around the corner. And I say to Mick, you see these billion-dollar casinos, Mick? Billion dollars? You think they built these because they were losing money? But my guys were really big gamblers, and they had really, all the guys in Dawkins had really, really, really big houses, like mansions. Well, I lived in a two-bedroom, one-and-a-half bathhouse in Manhattan Beach. It was an old shithole built in the 50s. The joke's on them because their house in Arizona peaked. And my little Cracker Box house in Manhattan Beach, in my $180,000 house, went up to 2.5. And they tore it down and they built a mansion. Manhattan Beach, man. God ain't making any more beaches. You know, I lived in the South Bay my whole life, then two blocks of the beach. They weren't fancy. They were just, you know, post-war, two-bedroom, one and a half bath, nothing fancy. And I was happy to live there, you know. Of course, I remodeled, and I put koi ponds, and I landscaped, and I built the front yard. And, but these guys were buying these mansions in Arizona for $700,000. And I'm like, uh, okay, if you feel you need five bedrooms, knock yourself out. I only got two kids. I don't need five bedrooms. You fast forward 10 years, it's all gone. It's all gone. Gone, gone, gone. How are you doing so good, Don? How come you got millions of dollars? How come you have an estate, 17 acres in New Mexico? And how come you have a 10-bedroom chateau in the Dodon in France? I'm like, because I didn't piss my money away. They still believe that I ripped them off, but the docking deal was a four-way split. I make a dollar, they make a dollar. And the person that benefited the most was Mick. He never wrote a hit. He never wrote a song. He never wrote shit. He just played drums for five hours and took off to the rainbow. Every check I got for 100000 100000 200000 he got the same. He didn't do shit. He just played the drums. Well, he got some, some songwriting credit, though, right? No, no, no. We just did that gratuitously. The band said to me, you wrote like 90% of the album. So let's so say Don Dockin, Don Dockin, Don Dockin, Don Dockin, Don Dockin, Don Dockin. So let's just put it, if you look at the album cover, it says, all songs written by Dockin. Under lock and key, right? Yep. All yeah. songs written by Dawkins because I wrote the whole record because they were fucking up the drug dealers getting high. Oh, okay. That was actually one of my questions because uh, it was the only one. All the other songwriting credits are always broken up, but that one, Correct. That one Correct. just said Dawkins only. All songs by Dawkins because I wrote everything. And tooth and nail, I wrote 80%, but they broke it down. If Jeff wrote, I said, uh, why, baby, why did you make, 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 let you go? And I'm so lonely. How about you say, and leave me so lonely? So he'd take, we change a few words, and he got it right, credit. Mm-hmm.